Hey guys, my name is Mario Rago with Rago Fabrication. Today, we're gonna to be installing the lower control arm skids on our third gen Tacoma. So let's get started. So right here down under our Tacoma, and uh, we're about to do this install. It's, it's really, really simple. What we're gonna do is uh, remove this plastic cover that's here. Break it, do whatever you gotta do, just get it off. So after you remove this plastic clip and uh, you broke it off, what we're gonna do is get our carriage bolts. Now, just a note, um, there's a quarter inch carriage bolt that goes in the front and you'll see a smaller slot there. And the other two carriage bolts are gonna go into the back. Simply unscrew them and pre-install pre them onto your lower control arm. Slide the first bolt through the lower control arm. While we hold up our lower control arm skid where, with our carriage bolt, we're just gonna screw in the nut. We're gonna do that so we're not fighting it and we're just gonna let it hang. And then we're gonna go down the line, uh, get our second carriage bolt. So after we uh, put on our back carriage bolts, we're gonna get our uh, quarter inch carriage bolt and simply slide it through the slot and find the hole it goes in. And locate it there. You can get your thick washer here, put it on top, and then you're gonna install your nut. So it's nuts a little bit small, I can't see it at all, so I'm kind of winging it here. There we go, success. Then next you're gonna do is simply uh, go, go around and snugging up your nuts <clears throat> on all the bolts. The lower control arm skid is pretty much almost snugged up. What I want to do is just make sure it's even, make sure the bolt's even down here, and it's not riding on the bolt in the front before I tighten it. Just a hint, if you don't have a ratcheting 14 millimeter wrench, um, I would suggest spending the, the 15 bucks on it because um, you'll be here all day. So now that the driver's side is installed completely, the passenger side is exactly the same. Follow the same exact procedures, and you'll be good to go. So now that we installed the lower control arm skids on their Gen Tacoma, let me tell you about the benefits of our lower control arm skids. Um, we have two different options. We have quarter inch aluminum if you want to save weight and still have the strength. And then we have 3 16 uh, steel. If you go a lot of rock crawling, they're uh, substantially a little bit more durable than the quarter inch aluminum. They'll last a little bit longer, but they do add weight. On both our models, we have extra support right here in the front where your car is going to get the most abuse. It's on this particular model, this is 3 16 and 3 16 which is pretty equal to 3 8 where it matters the most, and then 3 16 the rest of the plate. In the back, we have a bend in the back at a certain degree. So if you happen to be going backwards and you need to get over that boulder, it's not so blunt. Um, we have two different models other than that. Um, a lot of our customers have a TRD Pro skid and we just released that model that's available on our website as well as this model that is, uh, if you have an aftermarket, aftermarket skid, these will work. The main difference is um, this covers that cam bolt in the front. The TRD Pro uh, skid doesn't, so it's vulnerable in that area. So all that could be available at regofabrication.com. Go ahead and look us up. Go ahead and also follow us on Instagram at Rego Fabrication, our Facebook group, Rego Cool Clids, and our Rego Fabrication Facebook group. I'll be sure to see you next time, and thanks for watching.